This is called uh, La Danse Impossible. I wake up singing Chiquita Banana. I really love it when I wake up singing. I flip through my feed and catch small flashes of inspiration. They come at me, of course, from all directions, just like my impossible roommates. Here's two of them now. They're brand new, and so, having just arrived, team, I say, meet Chi Z. Everyone rapidly says hello to Chi. And this here is Mr. C.H. Allen Jr. But you can call him Chuck. No one worries about the joke but me. Everyone gets along swimmingly. I adjust my direction facing the corner in hopes of giving the gang at least a notion of comfort, of elbow room, a luxury here. I have a lot of impossibility to fit inside of a tiny home. The place is a buzz. People are getting along. The air has a palpable sizzle of expectancy you can almost see. A whistle, just enough off register, that if you scrunched your face just so, you'd trick your ears, swearing you hear it, like a stovetop kettle the instant before its hiss. Without using breath, I keep singing, catching tunes from, I don't know, it's free flow radio. The signals pulse more from below, so the drifting melodies interfere less with the stuff in my skull, where it feels like a particularly competitive game of dodgeball is underway, or perhaps it's Olympic tetherball. Compartmentalization in this, my tiny apartment filled with me and all of my impossible roommates. I can hear Silly Willy chit-chatting now with Chuck, who's such a flirt, though he'd never own up to it. And poor Chi beat red at the wall of Elvis, smitten already by Siri. She does that so unwittingly. That's Siri S. Lee, and don't you forget it, she'd blurt, and then pretend to blush. But she's not shy in the least. Now, at ease enough in my corner to tune it all out, I contemplate what the day has already for me. Are you lonesome tonight? I inaudibly sing, incapable of going a day without the king, his face is on the calendar, 12 months of Elvis on the opposite wall. I can feel him looking down on me. Then, after a bit, and just as abrupt but softly, so as not to interrupt, the others, one is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. And they just keep coming. I could, I know, so easily, knock all of this off rhythm, blow to bits this composition. I could make a difficult go of it all, turn the day into dust as if I had a as if I had just awoken from a dream wherein I was someone else and that this pedestrian pastiche was never meant to be, that it is not of me. But what do I do? I, I toughen my metal, write whatever discord and focus for what a magnificent thing it is to wake up singing. I think that I shall dance the entire day through, just me and my crew, my lovely set of impossible friends, and what an adventure is in store for me, as that is precisely what I choose to do.